We will begin momentarily. The uh, honorees are on their way up as we speak. Thank you for your patience as we waited for the rain delay.
Good evening, and welcome to the 2022 eighth grade recognition night. We thank you for your patience as we waited out the rain, and we thank you for being a little wet and sitting through it. We are here to celebrate an amazing group of students and their accomplishments. My name is Dora Johns, and I am one of the assistant principals of Grandview Middle School. On behalf of all of the staff members of our school, I would like to thank you for coming tonight to honor our students. Bienvenidos al 2022 Noche de Reconocimiento del Octavo Grado. Grado. Estamos aquí para celebrar un increíble grupo de estudiantes y sus éxitos. Mi nombre es Dora Johns y soy la subdirectora de la Escuela Grandview Middle School. En nombre de todos los miembros del personal de nuestra escuela, me gustaría agradecerles por venir esta noche a celebrar a nuestros estudiantes. We would like to start off with a few reminders. This is a special day for every family member that is here, and we would like to be respectful and courteous to everyone's child who is participating in tonight's event. So please try to remain quiet during the ceremony. Please take any crying babies to a different area if possible. We are very proud of our students and I appreciate your participation in this event tonight. Nos gustaría comenzar con algunos recordatorios. Este es un día especial para cada miembro de la familia que está aquí. Y nos gustaría ser respetuosos y corteses con todos los niños que participan en el evento de esta noche. Así que trate de permanecer callado durante la ceremonia. Si es posible, lleve a los bebés que lloran a otra área diferente. Estamos muy orgullosos, orgullosos de nuestros estudiantes y apreciamos su participación en este evento esta noche. Following the ceremony, audience members are to remain seated until all of the eighth grade students have left the field. Students are invited to return to the GMS parking lot for pizza, cake, and refreshments. Después de la ceremonia, los miembros de la audiencia deben permanecer sentados hasta que todos los estudiantes de octavo grado hayan salido del campo. Los estudiantes están invitados a regresar al estacionamiento de Grandview Middle School para compartir con pizza, pastel y refrescos. Muchas gracias y empezamos esta noche. Yeah, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. It really gives me a great pleasure to come out here tonight. This is my last year as a school board president here at Grandview. And what I'd like to talk about is congratulations to the class of 2022. You've had a tough three years. Pandemic, classes online, no sports into this year, not seeing your teachers face to face, but only online. But you came through it with flying colors. You were three years as a pups, but now you will be greyhounds for four years. The school board and teachers administration are very proud of this class, and we know you will do great at Grandview High School. Go Hounds! Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? 
Are you guys dry? No? Sorry. Okay, well, good evening, eighth grade students, families, friends, and staff. Thank you all so much for being here. I also want to especially thank you. Thank you for nominating me to give this speech. So for those of you who do not know me, I am Elise Wilson, eighth grade history teacher, and the teacher that is known up as dressing up as George Washington, King George, and a crazy judge with a disheveled white wig. I'm sure that everyone who is here tonight can agree with me that when this school year started, we didn't really know what to expect. We had just been through a year and a half of traumatic global events, online learning, and isolation. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I was so nervous to fully step back into the classroom. I had felt like I completely forgot how to be a teacher, and I was so scared that I was gonna disappoint you and myself. And I'm sure most of you felt the same way. For some of you, this was the first time you'd be back in the classroom since March 2020. To tell you the truth, it totally showed that you forgot how to be students. I knew that it was gonna be a different type of year when on the first day of school, I had not one, but five students casually get up in the middle of me talking and go to the bathroom without asking. I realized then that it might take a little bit of time to adjust, not just for me, but for all of you too. I also immediately realized that you all were, even if you don't want to admit it, desperate to be back in school, connected to your peers and desperate to learn. Some of you came back into the school with such enthusiasm and such a readiness to learn. It helped me realize just how important our education is to provide those supports and help to our health. While teaching is one of the hardest jobs and sometimes does not always support my well-being and health, my students do. I am constantly impressed and moved by the questions, the knowledge, and the conversations I have with each and every one of you. The human connections that I have made with you are all connections I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. Now, there are some particular moments this school year that put a smile on my face. I will never forget the intense look at competitions, particularly when Christian screamed Surrey's name so loud because she stole all of his gold and the entire class went silent. Or when Dutch almost threw his computer across the room because he lost the game. <laughs> Yaslen, I cannot wait to see the video compilation of all my coffee pictures. I will never forget when Joshua almost made me cry laughing because of a joke that I will not repeat. <laughs> the fact that Jennifer Figueroa was our hype man in fourth period or how most everyone in my first period class made a group chat to coordinate winning the participation challenge, or when Bonquiqui came to visit us. Trezis, aka Gabriel, thank you for being a leader and coming up with so many great ideas. Sorry, this thing's stuck. Mary Lennon Christian, thanks for the King George III Funko Pop. It is now a prized possession. And of course, I cannot give a speech without talking about Pablo, our class pet, the fake eyelash that I thought was a caterpillar the first couple weeks of school. Over the course of the year, Giselle, Oscar, and others brought amazing things to contribute to his home and keep him safe. Second period. Thank you for stealing all my pencils, but please remember to bring pencils to high school. Richie, thanks for giving us a good soundtrack when we were working. To my lunch crew, thank you for the endless laughs and memories. Lindsay and Mia, I'll miss your weird dancing. Angelina, your occasional emotional outbursts. Emma, your curiosity and obsession with crumble cookies. Olga, your love of Greek yogurt, and Dayami, Daisy, and Sadie, your amazingly sweet dispositions and laughter. 
I wish I could mention every single one of the amazing interactions with all of you this year, but then the speech would be over like two or three hours long. Every single one of you has had an impact on my life, and I cannot wait to see what you all accomplish. As you enter into the summer and move on to high school, do not forget where you came from. You each have your own histories and experiences that make you who you are. You are going to make mistakes in your life and maybe even some really bad choices. But it is how you learn and react to the bad things in life that truly define who you are. Something my dad always said to me when I was growing up was, be bold and powerful forces will come to your aid. So students, stand up for what you believe in, take risks, step out of your comfort zone, and something or someone will always be there to support you and push you through. When you get to high school and become adults, never turn down an opportunity to step out of your comfort zone and be a brave and bold person. Try out for that sport you never tried before. Take the hard class. Introduce yourself to people you've never met before. Raise your hand in class and participate. <laughs> Apply for that job. Ask that person out. You only have one life. You may as well try to fit as many experiences into as possible. It has been an honor and a privilege to teach and learn with you all. I know you will go to high school and be successful. Remember that you have a whole support system behind you, including teachers and family members who are willing to sit in the rain to celebrate you. Thank you and congratulations. Also, I need to take a selfie with you guys real quick, so one second. Okay, thank you everyone. Now we have the class slideshow. So please go ahead and look up at the screen.
we think about now Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end And suddenly it's like women and men Will the past be a shadow that will follow us round? Will these memories fade when I leave this town? I keep, keep thinking that it's not goodbye I keep on thinking it's a time to fly front or not that's okay okay we will be calling some of our new awards these are for the things that you have been honored by your teachers so when I call your name please come to the front and stay up here while we honor you algebra Brianna Madera, Algebra, Roberto Duarte, Algebra, Isaiah Martinez, Algebra, Karina Madera, Algebra, Aiden Mendoza, Math Enrichment, Ebony Morales, Math Enrichment, Irvin Ramos, Math 8, Edward Buenrostro, Math 8, Kayla Sanchez, Math 8, Nada Diaz, ELA 8, Valeria Cruz, ELA 8, David Gonzalez, ELA 8, Elias Mendoza, ELA 8, Jesus Fajardo, Honors ELA, Adrian Ediki, Honors ELA, Olivia Clara, Honors ELA, Eileen Ledesma, ELA Enrichment, Emilia Palomares, ELA Enrichment, Roberto Duarte, ELA Enrichment, Abby Vaquera, Science, Katie Bates, Science, Alex Montalongo, Science, Kaylee Maciel. Science, Adrian Ediki. History, Gabriel Montajano. History, Brian Martinez. History, Emma Alcazar. Band, Katie Bates. Band, Kale Matheny. Mariachi, Kevin Ruiz Martinez. Mariachi, Karina Madera. P.E. Elijah Castillo. P.E. Camelia Uribe. P.
P.E. Mariah Berdine. Art, Ashley Ochoa. Art, Jacob Benitez. Avid, Olga Sanchez. Avid, Ethan McCallum. Coding, Minecraft, Pedro Garcia Sahugan. Minecraft Coding, Yaslin Ariaza. ELD Language, Jocelyn Gonzalez. ELD Language, David Flores. ELD Language, Elena Fay. ELD Language, Lizette Cortez. STEM, Marlene Torres Peralta. And STEM, Weston Lehman. These are our students who are being honored by their teachers for showing excellence in each one of their classes. Please give them a big round of applause. Thank you, students. Yep, you get it. We will now do the presentation of the student certificates. Students. Nikki Cabanas. Corona. Eileen Ledesma. Alexia Cardenas. Teresa Hernandez. Angel Torres. Francisco Medina. Miguel Gomez Lara. Nathan Montez Dioca. Malachi Vasquez. Jose Luis Espindola. Juan Delgado. Dutch Graf. Emma Shepard. Jacob Gonzalez. Uriel Lopez. Miranda Berrigan. Emilia Palomares. Iris Acuna Esparza. Camila Uribe. Jalen Jaimes. Kayla Sanchez. Maritza Herrera. David Gonzalez. Suriela Amazon. Janie Martinez. 
Dylan Cash Garza. Jonathan Smith. Emma Alcazar. Evelyn Ochoa. Angelina Espinosa. Peter Barrett. Lindsay Padgham. Eric Ariola. Mia Cortez. Jacob Benitez. Alessandra Ramirez. Angelique Cardenas. Maria Mancia Ceja. Fabian Salgado. Morelia Bajanero Martinez. Brianna Morales. Valeria Cruz. Cassandra Saucedo Ceja. Keldon Smith. Dianira Ramirez. Reed Jinks. Nicholas Gonzalez. Alex Montalongo. Laura Sandoval. Destiny Lepe. Elias Mendoza. Antonio Delgado Martinez. Elijah Castillo. Giselle Ramos Valencia. Noah Lara. Sadie Solis. Jasmine Macias. Diami Gomez. Betsy Gomez. Olga Sanchez. Liliana Godinez. Daisy Pantoa Jaime. Angela Gomez Solis. Rachel Marie Mendoza Palencia. Malachi Gonzalez. Kayla Hernandez. Marielena Montelongo Solis. Olivia Clara. Christian Downs. Anaya Garcia. Gabriel Montelongo. Carly Fletcher Vela. Olivia Olson. Cruz Delgado. Victoria Flores. Jennifer Figueroa. Katie Bates. 
Kay Ramos Mireres. Kristen Lefever. Yari Saldana Ramos. Abby Vaquera Serrano. Mariga Lugo Mota. Lizette Cortez. Cassandra Gomez. Giselle Ledesma Diaz. Maggie Suzette Gonzalez. Jaime Gonzalez Cisneros. Neda Diaz. Jesleen Vidari. And Alicia Alcantar. Jaslyn Ariza. Elena Fay. Carmela Cepeda Vega. Maria, sorry, Mariah Burdine. Emmeline Roman. Maria Marilio Meza. Allison Ochoa. Coral Macias Perez. Evelyn Espinosa Martinez. Preseda Avina. Omar J. Rios Mendoza. Yuma Perlo Landeros. Ashley Ochoa. Jocelyn Maldonado. Alexia Ramos. Angelina Huerta Dominguez. Rosa Reina. Kevin Ruiz Martinez. Brandon Valles. Victor Godinez Cruz. Kira Cantu. Ethan Doss. Vicente Carrasco Valle. Edward Buenrostro. Salvador Gonzalez. Oscar Espinosa. Jose Godinez. Angel Flores Bustos. Kaylee Maciel. David Gutierrez. Ka Caitlin Demeray. Christopher Frias. Zoe Villagomez Moreno. Ezekiel Garcia. Joshua Espinosa. Juan Barranco. Irvin Ramos Martinez. Brian Martinez. 
Daniel Contreras. Raúl Guillén. Marcus Saldana. Michael Gomez. Jesus Ochoa. Adon Mendez. Axel Cardenas. Roberto Duarte Lopez. Aime Jimenez Lopez. Lenin Martinez. Evelyn Flores. Jesus Fajardo. Maciela Ramos. Micah Daniel. Nicole Vargas. Noel Garcia. Angelisa Solomon. Felix Fajardo. Briseida Mendoza. Alex Rios. Anthony Ponce. Ariel Delgado. Oscar Orozco. Caleb Ramirez. Weston Lehman. Daniel Torres. Michael Resendez. Jonathan Aguirre Catalan. Jesh Rodriguez. Dominic Herrera. Michael Flores. Melissa Espinosa. Aiden Mendoza. Isaiah Martinez. Kale Matheny. Valentino Benitez. Alberto Venezuela. Armando Orduño. Ethan McAllen. Orson Carriero. Adrian Aregui. Alexander Orozco. Vicente Benitez. Luis Rabaran Hernandez. Pedro Madera Nava. Jaylee Dill. Brianna Madera Sierra. Catherine Tapia Hernandez. Natalie Montelongo. Luis Adrian Camposano. Yadira Cuevas. Blanca Alvarez. Samaya Nunez. Maleri Cervantes. Alia Calderon. Edgar Martin. Jalisa Salinas. 
Mariana Aguirre Catalan. Carla Marquez. Leslie Boron. Kathy Rivera. Oscar Gonzalez. Janaya de Leon. Angel Gonzalez. Yandel Caridad. Luis Bravo. Levi Martinez. Matthew Pineda. Armando Herrera. Richard Partida Martinez. MJ Ramirez. Antonio Rivera. Ricardo Uribe. Not yet, not yet. Christian Mena Ocampo. Eric Saucedo. Ronaldo Corona. Arturo Aguilar. Alvin Mendoza. Berman Alcazar. Brian Calzada. Diego Ceja. Richie Lara. Isaac Delgado. Bree Valenzuela. Aiden Perez. Monique Perez. Eduardo Guerrero Martinez. At this time, I'd like to invite the superintendent of the Grandview School District, Mr. Henry Strom. Do you want to use another mic? Good evening, students. I want to start off by saying you look great this evening. Welcome, parents and family members, our educational family of teachers, paraeducators, and represents representatives of our school board. Here present tonight are Chuck Stegman and Dan Hall, and as mentioned earlier, uh, Dale Bergerson. Bienvenidos, padres familiares, nuestra familia educativa de maestros, para educadores, nuestros representantes de nuestra junta escolar, Dale Bergenson, quien se jubila a fines de este junio, Chuck Stegman y Dan Hall. 
As we gather to recognize your, your completion of middle school and transition to the high school, I want to offer my admiration for your dedication, dedication to your studies. Mientras nos reunimos para reconocer su finalización de la escuela intermedia Grandview Middle School y la transición a la escuela secundaria Grandview High School, quiero ofrecerle mi admiración por su dedicación a sus estudios. As you think about moving up to our beautiful, beautiful new high school, I'm sorry, this is, I'm getting feedback. Please think about the tremendous support our community has demonstrated through approval of school construction bonds for you to have an amazing educational experience. Mientras piensa en mudarse a nuestra hermosa nueva escuela secundaria Grandview Middle School, piensa en el tremendo apoyo que nuestra comunidad ha demostrado a través de la aprobación de los bonos de construcción escolares para que usted tenga una experiencia educativa increíble. Take care of the high school. Avoid the latest social media challenge to do harm in public places. I offer we are better than that. Cuiden a su escuela, la high school. Invito a, lo, los invito que no se caigan culpables por los desafíos de las redes sociales para hacer daño a lugares públicos. Somos, somos mejores que eso. Rather than tell you about what you need to do to be successful, a uh, successful student, I thought I would show you. En lugar de contarles lo que deben hacer para ser un estudiante exitoso, pienso en mostrárselos. I am honored to work alongside a tremendous team of educators here in Grandview, truly some of the best in our region, if not the state. Me siento honrado de trabajar junto a un tremendo equipo de educadores aquí en Grandview. Verdaderamente, algunos de los mejores de nuestra región, sino del estado. Tonight I've asked my colleague Jose Rivera to address you. Jose grew up just the road in our neighboring town of Prosser. Esta noche le he pedido a mi colega Jose Rivera que se les dirija a usted. Jose creció en la misma calle en nuestro pueblo vecino de Prosser. He entered kindergarten speaking Spanish and learned to speak a second language in school. He graduated from high school, put himself through college, has been a paraeducator here, a teacher, a principal, and now the assistant superintendent of teaching and learning. Él ingresó al kinder hablando español y aprendió a hablar un segundo idioma en la escuela. Se graduó de la high school y asistió a la universidad. Ha sido para educador, maestro, director y administrador de la oficina central. He is currently enrolled in a doctoral program at SPU. He wants to be a superintendent of schools. Actualmente está inscrito en un programa de doctorado en Seattle Pacific University. Por esta This, time, oh, ahead, I'm sorry. No, This time next year, if all goes well, we will address him as Dr. Jose Rivera. Welcome, Jose Rivera. Sí, sí se puede. First of all, I am going to agree with Mr. Strom. Saw a lot of J's out there, a lot of mids, fours, a couple sixes. Ladies, you look beautiful in your dresses this evening. Saw a couple bow ties. I like it, very nice. So um, you guys look good. First of all, I want to say good evening. Buenas tardes a todos que están aquí esta noche. A todos los padres, familiares y miembros de la comunidad. Esta noche cuando entraron, ojalá recibieron una hoja con mi mensaje de esta noche. Entonces, mi mensaje no va a ser inglés esta noche para los alumnos. 
Pero si quieren el mensaje, este, está en la comunidad con ustedes ahorita. Este, entonces voy a este, este, hablar en inglés de aquí para adelante. So again, I want to address our eighth grade students this evening, our parents, our families, our community members, our school board members. I want to say thank you for attending tonight's eighth grade graduation promotion. I want to thank all of you who have had a hand in helping our students, supporting our students, cheering our students, and most importantly, loving our students. You are all beautiful, brilliant, and full of potential, every single one of you. And we see you every day. We notice you. Tonight's celebration is not an ending of any sort. It truly is a transition. You're going to be transitioning from your eighth grade year to your ninth grade year. And it's a momentous occasion, let me tell you. So ninth grade year, here you come. Excuse me for just one second. I want to talk about two concepts tonight, okay? Those of you who are in math, you're going to love this. Those of you who are not, just bear with me, okay? So the first one is around finite. Raise your hand if you know what finite means. Finite. Okay? So finite, it's a number that can be counted or something that can be counted, such as the number of Super Bowls the Seattle Seahawks have won. How many? Thank you, one, right, exactly. So the Seattle Seahawks have won one Super Bowl. Uh, we know that, it's very finite. It's a number that we can give. Okay, and also there's an num exact number of stars in our universe. There's an exact distance from where you are today to the Andromeda, which is, is a constellation of stars in our universe. We know exactly the distance, it's very finite. All right, you guys with me so far? Thumbs up. Okay, most of you guys are with me, that's good. Okay, on the other hand, there's this concept of infinite or infinity. Have you guys heard that concept? Infinity, right? It's, it's ongoing forever and ever. There's, we can't quantify it, we can't put a number on it. So that's infinite, right, or infinity. So I have a question for you, okay? So this, we're, it's gonna be a quick test. You're gonna have to stand up if it's a yes and stay seated if it's a no. So do you think you have an infinite amount of time in high school? If you think you do, please stand up. Good. So if you, if you think there's a finite number of time in your high school career, please stand up as if you think it's yes. If you don't think so, just stay seated. And no peer pressure, but everyone should be standing up. <laughs> okay, you guys all passed the first test. And plus I wanted you to stand up and get some blood flowing in your body, so you guys may be seated, thank you. So I'm gonna give you some numbers and so pay attention to them, okay? Because they're finite. 720. Okay, 720. That's the number of days you will have in high school in your four-year career. All right, it's finite. We know that. There's 180 days in an academic school year. So you will be in high school for 720 days. 4,320, okay, that is the amount of hours you will be in high school. So again, it's finite, right? We know exactly the number. 259,200, it's the finite number of minutes, excuse me, of, um, yeah, minutes you will have in high school. I mean, with days, hours, and hour minutes. Who would like to estimate how many seconds you will be in high school? Be brave, I heard a million. Someone said a million. 
Anyone else? Ten million? A billion? A billion? Okay. So it's actually fifteen point five million. Fifteen million five hundred fifty-two thousand seconds in your academic career at the high school. Right? So our time is finite. We don't have all the time in the world. And you know what, guys? High school will go by so fast. Next year, you'll be a ninth grader. In a blink of an eye, you're going to be graduating seniors. It goes by that fast. Trust me and ask your parents and everyone else around you. It's, 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 gonna, it's coming to come fast. So my point really is that we don't have all the time in the world like we sometimes think. Especially when we're young, we think we have a lot of time. But in reality is we don't. So my ask of you today is very simple. Make every day, every hour, every minute, and every second of your high school make a difference and count for you. Because like I said, it's gonna go by fast. And I wanna talk about one particular year um, that's gonna make, make a difference. And that is your ninth grade year. There are national studies that have been conducted on students who fail one class or two as ninth graders. And the percentage of them graduating from high school on time is 23%. I'll repeat that. So if you fail one class or more than one as a ninth grader, your chances of graduating high school on time are 23%, one in four. However, if you pass all your classes as a ninth grader, so at the end of the three trimesters, you pass all of your classes, the chances of you graduating with your class and on time jumps up to 85%. Just by you passing all your classes as ninth graders, your percentages of graduating high school with your class goes up significantly from 23 or 24% to 85, almost 90%. National studies done out of the University of Chicago. So you can Google those, those facts. So my point here today is when you enter your ninth grade year, really give it your all. Don't get behind, attend your classes, ask questions, be kind, and love your peers, love, love your friends, because you're on this together. The other thing I want to say to you tonight, and I need everyone's eyes on me right now, because this is very, very important, in my opinion. Okay, I think I got everyone's eyes on me right now. Invest in yourselves. You are the biggest, most single, important project you are ever going to work on in your life. It's not going to be your friend. It's not going to be your cousin. It's not your mom or dad. Tonight, go and look in the mirror and promise yourself that you're going to invest in yourself because you are the biggest project you're ever going to work on in life. I promise you that. So, like I said earlier when I opened up, you are brilliant, you are capable of excellence and greatness. Put in the work and I promise you the results will come. I'm excited to see you grow academically and socially in the next four years here in the Granby School District. Good luck and have a good night. Hello, pups, and as I always say, I'm the last thing between you and pizza, cake, and refreshments. So I got about 45 to 50 minutes, so let me settle in. Before we kind of move into my discussion, we have some special guests over here, and I'd like to make sure I thank them. 
We have our Grandview School board members, Mr. Dan Hall, Mr. Chuck Stegman, not with us tonight, Mr. Scott McKinney, and Ms. Andrea Artiaga. I want to give them a big round of applause. And I want to give a special applause to Mr. Dale Bergeson. This will be the last middle school, he, the recognition he gets to walk with us. And you have been there for everything we do, Dale. You're in school all the time. Please give Mr. Dale Bergeson a huge round of applause. That's Mr. Grandview for you right there. Thank you, Mr. Ferguson. I also want to make sure that we give credit to where credit's due. Mr. Rivera and Mr. Strom for coming out tonight and really sharing the important message they did. Thank you very much. And we have some of our amazing teachers, administrators, office paraprofessionals, and every person that cares about you is sitting right there. Students, please give them a big round of applause. I want to thank Miss Wilson because as I told you today, this production was about at the last day and she said they deserve it. So please give Miss Wilson a big round of applause. I'd also like to thank our administrators, Mr. Brian Bueller, Mr. George Graff, and Mrs. Dora Johns. And behind the scenes, up in the booth, Mr. Brad Charvet. Thank you. So I find it interesting how they're talking about time. And I remember when my daughter was born and I know Mr. Strom and he said, be careful, the time flies. And of course I was a new dad and I didn't believe that story. But you need to realize as you're moving on in school, the days go slow, but the years go fast. You're gonna look back on this and realize it was just a blip and we want you to make sure that you have a whole world ahead of you in Grandview or wherever you choose. But as they talked about, you have to make that decision. And it all starts with being a pup. I would like everyone up in the stands who had a chance to go to GMS Middle School to please give yourself a round of applause. I want to hear these guys to know what family they're joining. So if you ever think you're alone or you're the only kid who's ever gone through GMS who struggled, you got an incredible network behind you. These are friends, relatives, community, and they were once in middle school and felt just like you. So now I want to say it for one of the last times. You guys are going to hear it in the morning a couple times, but good evening, Grandview Middle School, where our mission is for all students to achieve at their highest level. No excuses. This isn't about what he did to you or she did to you. It's what you do for yourself. And Mr. Rivera said that. You have to look in the mirror and make that decision. And you know I say this every single day. At Grandview Middle School, we practice pride, perseverance, respect, integrity, discipline, and excellence. And the most important thing in that whole thing to me is excellence. It's not about being the best. It's about being your best. It's not about winning the race, it's about setting a PR. It's not about making 500 free throws, it's about making another one more than you did yesterday. So when you leave our school, we have high expectations that you're gonna come up here and you're gonna be an amazing Greyhound. We want you to change the culture up here. And that's all we can ask from you. I can't ask for anything more than your excellence. 
And with that, I cannot thank you enough for allowing me to be with you. And tonight was kind of a microcosm of what happened in the last year. It was beautiful this afternoon. We are up here walking through. Just like the end of the year during pandemic, we were rolling along. Then the clouds rolled in. Oh, we're going to have some people in, maybe not. And then it stormed, and then it rained, and then it came back, just like it is now. This is a, an amazing evening that we can share together. So I want to thank you. I want to tell you I respect you. I want to tell you that you have integrity, and I want to tell you you have discipline and excellence. And I am proud of your GMS pride. Give yourselves a huge round of applause. Unfortunately, in the middle school, you don't throw hats and we don't have a firework display, but you do get a walk right down there in the middle, knowing that you are going to go. We do have fireworks. I am corrected. Thank you, Mr. Charvet. Lighten we it up fireworks. in the booth. <laughs> Teachers, are you ready? Grandview Middle School class of 2021-2022, it's been an honor, and our teachers will dismiss you. Parents and families, they will be at the middle school enjoying some refreshments. We would ask that you give them time to take some pictures, and then please pick up your students as we will not be busing them home this evening. They are your responsibility once again. And as we say that, the rains come. Families, please stay in your seat while those students exit to respect. <laughs> 